Hello everyone, it's teacher Tamisha and McKenna. McKenna. And today's Tinker Tuesday is all about making sand sensory boxes. Or you can think of it as a beach sensory box. Whatever the name, we are doing that today and we are going to do some fun activities with it. So stay tuned. So what you will need for this sensory box is what's that? You'll need maybe a couple of uh, packages of sand. We got this from the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. So we got three bags of sand. You also need some utensils. Anything that your kid likes to play with to dig or scoop. Make sure you have utensils. I also got this blue scarf to replicate water. You can use real water, but I don't really want the mess of wet sand. So we're doing no real water. We also have a treasure chest. Wow, look at that treasure chest. That's what we have for our treasure chest. We have some rocks of various sizes. and some friends to put in our sandbox. All right, oh, and two popsicle sticks, two popsicle sticks. In this project, I am allowing McKenna to complete the box herself. And what I mean by that is I'm teaching her following how to follow directions. So I am giving her each direction and I'm, I'm allowing her to follow them just to help her when it comes to, you know, other thing and life skills. Um, so she has already put in all three bags of our sand. We, we did two bags of tan sand and two bags of white. And right now she's just mixing the sand and just, uh, just leveling it out before completing the next set of directions. Here I gave her a scooping tool I'm like a little ladle. Um, here she is working on those fine motor skills. Um, I asked her to scoop some of the sand on the blue scarf just to, to help weigh it down a little bit from you know blowing away or moving too much. So that's what she's doing and she's doing a pretty good job. I mean she's giving the whole five hand fist grab and later on we will probably adjust her grab. But for now I'm just helping her with the fine motor skills. Now what we're going to do is mommy's going to bury some treasure. Uh -huh. We have our treasure. Hold on. And we're going to bury some treasure. Some gold rocks. Let's bury some treasure. Here I'm demonstrating how to bury our treasure in the sand. So she's doing that. She's working on her sensory of touch to bury our treasures in the sand. And, and of course later she'll find those treasures in the sand. All right, now that our treasure is all buried, let's add some friends. Where's our friends? Oh, we got some friends right here that we can add in there. I don't know. The elephant went to the beach. Is on the beach? Yeah. Right now she is working um, on her imaginative play where she is just 
I'm using her animals and creating a scenario with her imagination and she's playing that way and she's developing and she's creating um, those sparks in her brain um, to develop in that way. got to find the treasure. We are now using this time to look for our buried treasure from earlier. She will search for them, sift through the sand to find them, and then we will count um, our treasure. Uh, we can also talk about color. Can't really, it's not really a defined shape. <laughs> Maybe you'll find some ovals in there. But we will talk about color okay. and numbers, how many we'll count. We are still working on counting the objects that we see versus just <laughs> counting to 10 or counting to 20. treasures in our treasure box. Maybe I should do it the same way you're doing it. Okay, let's do, okay, you get your stick, get your stick, and go down. Here we are drawing letters in the sand. I am showing her, her how to write the letter T since it's straight <laughs> and it's two lines. Um, she was semi um, successful, but that's a part of the journey. Now she's just identifying letters and associating them with uh, an animal or an object. She'll try to, to copy me and write the letter, and that's absolutely fine. But my target here is just to see if she can associate a letter with an object, or in this case, W is for water, or M is for McKenna. So we're just trying to do some association. What's that? That's F. F is for C. Good. What about? just playing and looking over our treasures. One, I take this opportunity to um, three, count and also draw the number in the sand three, so that she can associate the uh, standard form of the number and also see the visual of you know, three objects. There are many other things you can take that you can continue to do with the sand. Right now we are just drawing little squiggle marks and making little paths in the sand and allowing um, our little animals to go through those paths and follow those paths. That's a very good um, fine motor skill. Don't be afraid to add other 
um, things to manipulate to this sandbox. Like other animals, like snakes, can sli slither pretty well, or trucks can leave nice tracks. You can even try putting the, their hand or their foot to make a to make a uh, print. Go all out. Do what you think your child would like. And guess what? If they don't like it, just don't do that one anymore. Or wait a little while before doing doing it again. So this is all about, you know, trial and error, you know. If your kid loves it, continue to do it. If they don't, put it to the side for a while and then try it again later. I hope you enjoyed this video today and that it gives you tons of ideas on how to get your little learning through sensory boxes and sand and imaginative play and how you can reinforce those letters and numbers. I'm gonna I eat. hope, hope, hope that you got some value out of it. If you want to continue to see other videos from me, go ahead and subscribe to this page and follow me on Facebook and Instagram for book recommendations and other activities for your preschooler or early learner.